All right, guys, you got a call today that every fish keeper absolutely hates. So let's go find out what happened. All right, my dad called, said it was urgent. Josh, Josh, Josh. go over there, the, 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 the 180 tank. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ooh, what's going on? There's water on the ground. The 180 popped a seam, so we think. My dad called me, was freaking out, frantic. There's water everywhere. The tank is drained. So uh, come today, we find out the 180 popped a seam. So now what we have to do is basically move all of the discus that were in this tank. Now that the water's down lower, the leak stopped a little bit, so we're not in the clear. We gotta take the FX filter off of it. We gotta get the plants out. We gotta get the discus out. Then once that's done, we can go ahead and figure out what to do with the, the, the tank. Also, I already did a little video on this tank, so watch the next video to see when I found this, and, and there'll be more explained in there. All right, now while all this is going on, we had some drop-offs today. My butt buddy Brandon uh, went ahead and got out of the hobby. So he brought us over some fish. He brought over his uh, golden red tail catfish, an albino Chinese wells. He's got a red terror in there. And then down here, we've got some more. I'm actually gonna move them up to this 150. We're actually doing a water change on it now to make it happen. But right down here, we've got some true parrot cichlids. We've got some more geophagus. There's some African cichlids. But these guys right here, those are those Fogo red fire peacock bass. We've got two of those. So we're de definitely going to keep them and grow them puppies out. Um, there's some true parrot cichlids in there, along with a red tail giant garami. So we're going to divvy up some of this tank up to the 150, put the stuff up here that we are keeping, and uh, the rest of the stuff can be given away in quarantine. So, you know, when we uh, get going around here, it ne never stops, the work always, you know, happens, and it's always, you know, stuff happening at the most inopportune times. We didn't plan on coming out and seeing the 180 had sprung a leak. So now over here, once we get this tank broken down, we gotta figure out what to do. Are we gonna replace it with another 180? Are we gonna fix this one? Are we just gonna say, screw this whole corner and redo it and put something else there? Who knows, we will see what happens. All right, now while the tank's filling up over there, I went ahead and moved all the angel fish out of this tank. So now I can take the discus and put them right over into this tank here. It'll be uh, catastrophe averted for a while. And then we can figure out what to do with this 180 gallon tank. But for the time being, you guys are probably wondering where the angelfish went. Well, I went ahead and put the angelfish in this uh, 80 gallon here. And you guys are probably wondering what happened to the uh, blue flower horn that was in there. Well, that guy came in and is now in the 4400. Let's see if we can find him. Where is he at? I don't see him right now. That's uh, kind of odd because he's a big fish, but it's also a bigger tank. Oh, nope, that's a garami. Where'd he go? He could be hiding behind the rocks. I mean, he's a big fish. It's kind of hard to miss him. Oh, here he is. There we go. Look at him. Beautiful fish. He hasn't really been giving us no problems in this tank at all so he gets along in there he gets to stay hope you enjoy your new tank bud it is a 4400 gallon tank 14 foot long seven foot from front to back and six foot tall all right i went ahead and split some of these fish up there goes a better look at those fogo peacock bass they get more and more red as they, they grow up and of course these true parrot cichlids we're going to go ahead and keep them and put them in that 500 gallon cube they will get some awesome color on them once they are not stressed no more. And of course, you can see the red tail giant garami there. He's definitely got a bright red tail. Definitely cool looking. He'll probably end up going in the Bellagio tank behind us to go ahead and grow out. Real quick, one of my favorite things about the Tigrinus. Darn it, I missed it. 
Try getting it on camera for you guys, but they just swim right in the current. He flipped upside down and was swimming right here on the underside of this log. But when you get a tight greenness that's comfortable, he's out in the daytime and swimming around just like that guy. If not, they'll go back and hide and you hardly see him, but he was just swimming in, in that current. So I wanted to show you, but tough luck. All right, so moving over here, I went ahead and got 11 of the discus out. They look a lot more crammed in this tank. That's all right. They are uh, alive and well. So there's uh, two Chinese algae eaters I still got to find in this tank. And then I got to figure out what I'm doing with the plants. So uh, it's not over yet. There goes one of the Chinese algae eaters. Let me go ahead and grab him. I love sick with getting your toes. Yeah. <laughs> They're white my toes. It ain't like one bite, it's like eight bites right in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I moved from my big toe to my little toe where it started hurting more. <laughs> yeah, so some of them big sick ones hurt a little bit. You know, you got all these big fish in the pond. It's the little ones that come up and bite you. So we got him in the pond right now. He's doing a se segment Boom. for the news. This is so slippery. I'm just going to have to get down in the water because I can't walk down this hill. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, we had a malfunction with the heat okay. heater going on, so the water's a bit cold. Uh, yeah, the water's colder than normal. Usually it's 84 degrees. Yeah, well, the heat heater flipped off overnight because the water got too low. All right, check this little guy out. The musky right here. Went ahead and got him on pellets. Oh, look at him go, bam. This was the first day we actually got him to eat. I had no faith. I'm like, I'm just gonna throw some pellets in here for the hell of it. And he ate two earlier, so every time I walk by the tank now, I'm gonna go ahead and toss him some pellets. And this little guy is on Hikari Sinking Carnivore pellet, so. He should start growing relatively quick now. For a, a, a minute there, I thought we were gonna have problems with them and we might have to feed him live. But as you can see, he is now on pellets. So this monster can start growing. You guys are always asking about him, but there is the musky. You can see that little bump in his belly. He was bone skinny. So now I'm gonna pack the weight on him and we will uh, get him into a proper tank. See, right now he is in a 40 gallon, right below these fish here. Uh, you can already see these fogo bass are starting to color up a ton. They look super beautiful when they are older. These guys are all settling in. We got the rest of the red terrors down here. One of the geophagus and a red jewel. And then back here we have another red terror. The uh, gold red tail and the golden Chinese wells. That guy will go in the 2200, that guy will go in the 580. All right, so I kind of messed up the order on these videos or whatnot, so I'm gonna show you some clips from the other day of placing fish. I figured what better video to do it than, than now, give you guys a little bit of variety, but we placed a few fish in the tanks around here. If you guys are paying attention, you guys probably seen I showed the tanks and the fish were removed, me not thinking oh well it, it happens sometimes all right so before we get started we got this water cow goby whatever you want to call them in here and this golden albino chinese wells whatever you want to call him i don't even know if he's gold or if he's albino i can't tell he looks like he has got black eyes so he would just be a golden wells we're gonna go ahead and put him in the 580 along with that goby let's go ahead and just reach right in grab him out now you can check his eyes in the net. No. There he goes. He'll fit right in. He's under uh, 11 inches or so. So there's nothing in here he could possibly eat. He doesn't really grow that big. They max out at about three foot long. So he should fit right in in here. You guys rem remember we took out the, the Armadas and the one tiger fish. I'll go ahead and give you guys an update on them too in this video. Alrighty, so you see the Armadas is in here. He's doing fairly well. I have not seen him eat in this tank yet, but it is just a matter of time. I do not see no bites on anybody else, so that is good. 
we will go ahead and keep them one fish per tank. And that's how we got gonna do this from here on out. So hopefully he'll get nice and big in this tank and may maybe someday he'll upgrade up to that 4,400 gallon tank. All right, next up is this Gobi. It was very easy. In and out. Bam. There you go, bud. Enjoy your new tank. Get all that crap out. I'm sure you will love hiding all the driftwood in here. You should be just fine. Okay, so we got this guy here. He is healing up nicely. His stomach is retracting back up into his uh, his stomach, basically. Going back up inside of his body. I have not seen him eat, so I'm hoping it's just a matter of time with him. But he looks a hundred times better. So hopefully it keeps going in this direction and he'll be back to growing and getting big in no time. But for now, he's in this 650 with all the stingrays and the arapaima. Alrighty, we got this guy that's ready to come out. He's gonna go in the 4400. Remember his name? Don't know if he had a name. Yeah. I was never told, so I don't know. Reaper will remember. Ah. <laughs> so, there he goes. Look at all that room you got, buddy. That is the only problem I see in this tank. And in the Red Devil? Yep. There's so much room. They'll get along. We had we had the Umbi and the... What was the other thing that didn't get along? Dovi? Umbi and the Dovi got along in here. And they were like 18 inches each. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, those little, little clips. You got to see a lot of fish. And from that clip to this clip, the tiger fish is, I'd say, 98% healed. He will 100% go back to not having a bite. It is absolutely amazing how Mother Nature works. I would have never thought that his stomach would have pulled back up inside of his body with how much it was hanging out. I thought, you know, he was either a goner or, you know, he would have to, the skin would close up and he'd have this big lump sticking outside of his body. So I am glad the way that it turned out. And uh, we just got to worry about getting this guy eaten now. I know he went through a traumatic I injury, so it'll probably take a while, but we do try d daily. Hopefully he'll be uh, up to taking some prepared foods again in just a little bit of time. So, like I said, we still got some fish to move out of this tank, most specifically the stingrays. We wanna clear some of this room out. And of course, uh, we've got m more fish to, to place once they go through quarantine. Of course, there's gonna be a fourth platinum red tail in that tank. Going to be awesome. There might be some fish coming out of there as well. So, you know what? One big happy family. Up, oh, give you guys a little update. These tropical gars are doing fantastic. I don't even know if you guys seen that we moved them in here, but there goes that melanistic alligator, or melanistic tropical gar, I'm sorry. There goes the regular tropical gar. And then the melanistic alligator gar is back there in the back of the tank. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's vi video. I know I'm loving this tank with all the catfish out of here. But we, we are not done. We got to still move stock around in other tanks. And now we got to figure out what to do with that corner over there. We might blow up our whole idea, our layout here. We might move the, the filter and just finally start that project. We might bring in the thousand gallon here. We don't know. We have to think on it overnight. But at least the fish are safe. They are in a uh, temporary tank. So let us go ahead and think on this and figure out what we're going to do so we will got we will catch you guys in the next video stay fishy my friends